Hello and welcome to Elgin County Living. I'm your host, Katherine Thompson. Today my co-host, Kate Burns, and I will be delving into Elgin County's thriving local community theatre scene. First we'll visit the Elgin Theatre Guild in St. Thomas, and then we'll visit the Port Stanley Festival Theatre. We'll end off the day in Elmer speaking to the Elmer Community Theatre. For the past several decades, Elgin County has been developing a thriving local theatre community. From east to west, Elgin County has several community theatre groups offering interesting performances from October to May during their seasons. We also have a professional theatre in Elgin County that's located in Port Stanley, where visitors to the small port can enjoy delightful performances during the summer months and musical performances during the winter. In the springtime, Elgin County's talented students at area high schools offer everything from talent shows to musical theatre performances. The first stop on our tour today is the Princess Ave Playhouse, where we speak to Peter Leake about the Elgin Theatre Guild. The building was built in 1907 and was bought by the Elgin Theatre Guild in 1987. The Theatre Guild produces four plays a year and also has several performances throughout the year from talented musical artists. We are now here with Peter Leake, the president of the Elgin Theatre Guild. Thanks for joining us today, Peter. So tell us a little bit about the history of this gorgeous building here on Princess Ave. Well, this was originally a church, and it was uh, owned by the Church of Christ Disciples. The Elgin Theatre Guild acquired it in the mid-80s. Um, the deed actually came into our possession in 1987. Great. Now, I understand you're going through a little bit of um, restoration at the present moment. Well, we are. The building itself had its official opening in 1907. Uh, the building was designed, the architect was Neil Dara, who's the same architect that uh, designed the City Hall here in St. Thomas. And after 100 years, uh, it is the kind of building that you do have to do a lot of maintenance. So we've been working on the roof, the walls, the auditorium, uh, painting a lot of uh, various areas like the lobby and the front vestibule and so on, uh, washrooms, new carpeting. Uh, we're working on our stained glass windows at the moment. That's one of the final features that we're finishing. Yeah, and can you tell us a little bit about those stained glass windows? They're absolutely gorgeous. They are. They're wonderful windows. Um, the person that's working on them said, uh, he said, did you realize you've got 143 stained glass windows in this building? <laughs> the actual cost of restoration is just over $40,000. Uh, the problem is with them being so old, uh, the, uh, the lead is starting to let go and the uh, stained glass, the weight it was starting to buckle, so we were concerned about losing the stained glass, so we started our restoration progress or uh, program. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the Elgin Theatre Guild itself? Well, the Elgin Theatre Guild uh, started in 1967. The first play was The Boyfriend, mm -hmm. um, which was a musical, uh, performed at the uh, Arthur Bowden Secondary School on the stage there. I hate to admit it, but I was fortunate enough to play one of the boyfriends in that particular play. Um, and uh, a number of the plays were performed at Arthur Voden uh, and a number of other different locations in St. Thomas until uh, the Theatre Guild was able to buy this building in 87. Great. Now, you must have been an awfully young boyfriend then in 67. Yeah, I think I was barely able to walk at the time, yes, when I played uh, one of the boyfriends. I also got to play Pepe the Tango Dancer, so I had two roles at the time, uh, but don't ask me to tango. That was way back when, when I was just a, a wee lad, you know. <laughs> Great. Now tell us a little bit about the activities that have been going on here at Princess Ave and uh, upcoming events for the fall season. Well, we have our plays. Uh, we do, we're currently doing four plays a year. Uh, we're going to start off with Old Love, which is a Norm Foster play, and that will be in October. Uh, and at Christmas, we're doing Cinderella as our Christmas play. It's a, a, an English pantomime version of Cinderella. Uh, besides that, we also have other performances that take place here at the theater. We have rentals for various groups. Um, we recently brought Wingfield to the theater. Um, we're going to do all seven of the Wingfield plays. The first one, Letter from Wingfield Farm, we did in June. And our next play, Wingfield's Progress, is going to be on September the 9th, which is a Sunday matinee. And uh, in October, we're uh, bringing Stephen Page. Um, for those uh, who may not immediately connect, Stephen was one of the members of the Bare Naked Ladies. Uh, so that performance will be on the evening of October 17th, which is the night before the run of our play, Old Loves, starts. 
Great. So it will be a very busy fall here at the Princess Edward Playhouse. Yes, it will. And as a matter of fact, uh, the St. Thomas Public Library is having an evening here, um, Words and Music, and that's going to be on September the 27th. They bring in musicians from Toronto, and the author this year is David Rottenberg. So we're looking forward to having uh, that as well here at the theater. And... Um, Jefferson Shepard uh, has a rental here with us. So Sarah and Jefferson will be playing on Friday, September the uh, 21st, an evening performance. Great. Now, if um, the public's interested in renting the facility, how do they get in touch? Uh, well, whether you want to uh, get tickets to our performances or if you're looking for information on the theater or a rental, um, our phone number is 519-633-8530. Or you can email us at info at elgintheaterguild.ca. Now, the success to any great community project is its volunteers. Now, are you looking for volunteers for the fall season? We're always looking for volunteers. Um, people who are interested in serving on the board of directors. Uh, people who are interested in acting, uh, directing, uh, assisting with directing, uh, stage managing or being an assistant stage manager. There's always lots of work behind the scenes. Uh, people who like to help out with what we call front of house, that's meeting and greeting or selling tickets at the door or serving at the concession. Um, so there's lots of, lots of opportunities for volunteers. Whenever we have a play that's being performed, anyone uh, can audition for the, for the parts that are in the plays. And it's usually on our website. Um, Elgin Theatre Guild uh, is the website. And... Um, yeah, as soon as we have uh, the audition dates, we put it on the website so people can be aware of it and come on out and try out for a part. Great. So you might have a new influx of our, our viewers there this summer, or fall, sorry. So um, is there any last comments you'd like our viewers to know about today? Um, well, I'm very happy that you're here looking at our theater and that you're going to have some shots to show people around the theater. Amazingly, uh, we've been in existence since 1967, and I still run into people that are amazed that we do have a theater guild in St. Thomas. And then the theater itself, people have been by the theater and said, oh, yes, well, I've always thought about coming. And then when they actually do come and have a look, it's like, Wow, you, we didn't know from looking at the outside just what all you've got inside the building here. So this is a great opportunity to get the word out to the public. Great. Well, thanks so much again for your time, Peter. We appreciate it. Back to you, Catherine. Thanks, Kate. The Elgin Theatre Guild and the Princess Ave Playhouse will be offering a special musical performance by Canadian legend and former Bare Naked Lady Stephen Page on October 17th. For information about tickets or performances at the Elgin Theatre Guild, visit www.elgintheaterguild.ca. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back on Elgin County Living. Elgin County Living. 